to hang out with Pete and Joe from Fallout Boy. We've got some yummy muffins here from our high team black Is it bad? It was gross. Yeah. Food is so lasting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the eight ball there. Do you have a question to ask the eight ball? Okay. Will I ever eat green eggs and ham? This is decidedly so. <laughs> Serious note, uh, your most recent music video. We're not sure if we're going to play it yet because we don't know. Australia's bit slow. But me and you, you went out to Uganda. Yeah, we did. You went out to Uganda. Uh, um, so why did you choose a specific charity, and why Uganda of all countries in Africa? When you become um, musician, you are a band. You're approached by all kinds of charitable and. and, and endeavors and NGOs and mm -hmm. these people that are in Gulu, the town we went to in Uganda alone, there's over a hundred NGOs and there's people who get rich and make money off this and it's hard to find organizations that, um, yeah, well, mm -hmm. and, and more so like that are so transparent and with invisible children you can see dollar for dollar where your money goes to and um, it, it had great people involved in it, it's very grassroots, it's actually um, we're at the, for, the forefront, kind of the vanguard of what's going on in, in Northern Uganda. And why to go to Uganda itself is because most people treat Africa as though it was a co uh, country, not a continent. And um, the way it was divided up in the region in the Coast, the way it was divided up is just so messed up because of uh, the, the colonialism that went on there to the you know, post-colonialism to the neo-colonialism, and everything's all mixed up. The territories were chopped up and don't make any sense at all, you know. So each country and each kind of territory has their own individual identity and their own individual problems. And Northern Uganda was one of the ones that we focused on because it has the longest <coughs> running civil war in all of Africa. Mm -hmm. And it is, um, I think by the UN, was the uh, most neglected humanitarian issue um, to date there. So uh, what goes on there is essentially that you have government in south, southern Uganda, and then you have northern Uganda that lives in poverty, and then you have um, the LRA, which is the rebel group that kind of goes in and will kidnap children and uh, create uh, child soldiers, which for the most part is considered peace talks is at a standstill right now, but then you have um, so many people living in displacement camps, which are like one by one square mile uh, with like 50,000 people like down, 80 or times more than children, really? and it's, it's really disgusting. And, um, we wanted to go there and kind of uh, point um, all the cameras that face at us towards that. And shed a little light on what people choose to ignore. Yeah, and we went there and we, we filmed this kind of doc documentary style video and um, while we were there we decided that the video had a bit of a missionary feeling to it and it's also, um, it just felt a little awkward and we, we thought it would be bit more dangerous to actually shoot a narrative of what, you know, because the song, it is still like the song, it is a song, it's a love song, and yeah. so we shot a love story between two Ugandan teenagers and um, what they actually go through there, so it, there is a historical kind of relevance to it, you know, and to me it was really compelling, and the people that were there were amazing, you see smiles on people's faces, you know. And, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, like, despite what they lived through and what they lived in, they, uh, have each other I think to get through the, uh, everything day to day. Alright, thanks so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks for sharing with Yay.